Now, after we've done with our absolute equations, we also have absolute inequalities. So basically, the same thing will happen to absolute inequalities, but it might be different, depends on uh, what kind of absolute values that we have. Okay, so we go into the types of absolute inequalities that we could have. Okay, the first one is one-sided. So one-sided, the strategy would be we have to use basic definition and then don't forget to state uh, whether it is or, great or, or less n. Okay, and then after that, you need to solve them separately. So you solving them separately we can use real number line which is our first bar as well as double of sign okay so once you've done with this you would have your first solution and then the same goes with that is our second set of solution here which is should be solution two over there okay yeah Alright, so once you have your solution 1 and solution 2, don't forget to actually combine the answers together using number line. So N is the intersection and O is the region that contains line. Okay, so don't worry, we're gonna go through this together. Okay, what will happen if you have both sides with the modular sign, which are the absolute so from the question we need to square both sides right so from the squaring both sides we could have a quadratic inequalities so as what we learned before quadratic inequalities can be solved using graphical or first bar which is real number line as well as table of sign so now don't forget also that your answers could be in interval form which is would be in the open bracket or close bracket as long as you could also express your answer in solution set okay so the idea of the solution set you should have your x as well as the inequality symbols and don't forget the curly bracket eh? so these okay. are some of the basic definition that we should understand regarding absolute inequalities so if you have modulus of x less than a so less than the distance is less than a so maybe you are having the axis where our origin is here okay so the main idea of modulus x less than a is the distance of the x from 0 is a less than a so less than a will be in between this region here so we could understand also that x is in between negative a and a okay so less means like being confined in the middle okay what will happen if you have less than equal that would be the same unless for the equal sign over there okay and then how about greater greater are taking the outside region since our distance here is more than a yeah? so it will be greater than a or less than negative a the same goes with greater equal this the different would be it would have the included sign over here and then regarding how to denote that onto a number line that should be a full dot yeah okay so we're gonna look into our first example regarding this inequalities example 13 so we have solve the inequality modulus x plus 3 plus 2x minus 5 greater equals 0 so this is somewhat confusing because you have a modulus together with expression without modulus so the first step would be you know that this is consisted of one sided only because we have one set of modulus only so put aside the one with the modulus 
So maybe we would have modulus x plus 3. Okay, remained. And then the one without the modulus, we move them to the right. So it should be 5 minus with 2x. Okay, so now we are having one side of modulus. Okay, so what should we do is we use basic definition. Alright, so since we are having grad O, so that should be x plus 3, you just copy that down again. And then this one also, okay, that one, you just copy that down again. Follow through, that should be 5 minus 2x. Okay, remember the grad O, so with, with O in the middle. Okay, and then this one also remain x plus 3, but the sign is changing. Okay, and then the one on your right here should be with negative already. So negative 5 minus 2x. So this what we meant by solve them separately. So we're going to solve them separately. And here we have kind of linear inequalities actually. So just solve them would be 3x greater equals than 2. So x greater equals than 2 over 3. So this is our first solution. What about the second solution? We should simplify them first. So it could be x plus 3 less than equals to 2x minus with 5. So we are having x removed to the right. We should have x greater equals because we are having that on your right. Huh? So greater equals than. We move negative 5 to the left. So that should be 8 already. So this would be your second solution. Okay. So now don't forget to combine onto a number line. So we have now our values of x involving 2 over 3 as much smaller value and 8 as much bigger value. So S1 is the one include 2 over 3 and then greater equals. So it means that bullet or dot with a full circle in here but then to the right much to the infinity. The same goes with S2. It is also greater equals than 8 included. So therefore, it's going to be to the right as well. Okay, so from here, how to take the region? How to determine which region is our answer? So now we have O. O is regions with lines. So therefore, we're going to take this region and then that region also. So our answer basically because it wants an interval form. So therefore, I'm going to just use a bracket. So that should be from 2 over 3 included because we have a full circle here. So 2 over 3 up until infinity. But then infinity would be having open bracket all the way here. Yeah? So this would be our final answer. So that's the case of where you have your separate solution is in linear inequalities as well. <laughs>